Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back for our NHL 16 Be a Pro career following Peter Forsberg and the Colorado Avalanche. So, uh, the work that we have done this past week with Peter Forsberg has allowed us to move back up to the second line with a Nathan McKinnon and Jerome Aginla. We scored, I believe, a couple, uh, maybe one or two goals, a couple simulation goals, a couple assists as well. So we're getting our point total back up there. Our offense for the week is up at a B minus, which is actually pretty decent. And uh, we're getting the Colorado Avalanche a little bit of more wins underneath their belts. I think they might have went 2-2-1 two, two and one this week, but still, uh, any, uh, we'll take the wins as we go. Um, we're trying to get this team back to 500 the best we can. So we got a game here up against the Chicago Blackhawks for our first game of the video. And uh, we'll see how good we do against them. And it's not going to be looking pretty because it's going to be a 3 to nothing deficit going into the third period. So against one of the best teams in the NHL, let's just... Let's get this one done. All right, guys, so here we are in the third period up against the Chicago Blackhawks. We are down three to nothing with only 19 shots on net through two periods, which is not great. Um, coach feedback, you guys already know. If you've been watching these episodes, you know what we have to do. And it is, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. So let's see if we can do it here. We are on the second line, though, with Nathan McKinnon and Jerome McGinley. And Nathan McKinnon just feeds Forsberg a nasty shot there. Nathan McKinnon was right there in the slot. Big slap shot. Big save there from Corey Crawford. Nice setup pass there, too, from Forsberg. Let's dig that out. Uh, let's dig that out daily. Nice poke check there by Forsberg. I don't know why, but Peter Forsberg just feels like some sort of rejuvenated from being put back on the second line with this squad. Nice turnover there. Aginla with a blocked shot. Get in there, Nathan McKinnon. And once again, another kind of block pass again. Forsberg just turns around and shots, but a bad little shot taken right there. Zadorov back to Aginla, another shot. Once again, let's just continue to pressure these guys, and the Blackhawks will get it out as we'll go to the bench for a change. Nice shift there from the boys on the second line, to say the least. Very nice shift there. Even though we're down 3 to nothing, we need some good shifts from this second line. We got Aginla and Nathan McKinnon. We got like an 88 and an 84 on our line now, which is... So much of an upgrade, I can't even, can't even tell you guys that. Okay, Nate, 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 get him, get out of the way. I know you're young. There you go. Back pass, back pass to Stewart. Nice play, nice give and go there. Uh, Jerome, you're, or Nathan McKinnon, you're wide open. And pass. Oh, couldn't get that through to Jerome. That would have been a nice little feed. Would have been a nice little give and go pass. All right, let's see. Up for season, send that around the boards. Again, la, up the boards. Okay, we're over to Stewart. I'll take that. Oh, nice play, Nathan McKinnon. He might be around. Uh, back to McKinnon. Oh, oh, daily, daily. Oh, couldn't poke check it in. Tried another little give and go pass there between uh, myself and Nathan McKinnon, and that pass is missed. I'm gonna go to the bench, even though it's icing. We might, we're probably gonna get put back out there again. Yeah, because it was icing. Figured as much. But we do win the faceoff though, so we'll take it. Uh, Boschman over to Aginla. Back to Forsberg. And once again, we make the deke, but lose the puck. Well, at least we poke check it back, though. And whoops, and we'll just go to the bench since we lost it. Just go to the bench since we lost that puck. Did an unnecessary deke once again. Gotta stop doing those unnecessary dekes. Our deking is not good enough just yet. We gotta wait till we get like some stats in the 80s before we consider doing some uh, nasty dekes out there. For right now, we just gotta protect the puck really well. All right, so let's follow in behind Nathan McKinnon, but he goes off sides. Way to go, Jerome. All right, let's see if we can win this face-off, though. As we do win the face-off, though. There we go. Higher skill. Oh, higher skill must mean we have a, a higher face-off skill than the guy we were facing. I don't even know who the center is. Might be Taravain. Might be Taravainen. I don't know. Uh, no, it was Artem Anisimov. I think we have a higher face-off skill than Artem Anisimov does. Oh, my God. Scrambling for the puck right now is ridiculous. There you go, Zarov. Nice stick lift on Taravainen, Zarov will just carry into the zone. Uh, let's see what Zarov's going to do. Nathan McKinnon back to Forsberg. And I got stick lifted there by number 20. Don't know who number 20 is. Go to the bench. Okay, so we lost that puck there. I was going to try to go for a cross crease pass once again. But we get stick lifted. We know we're going to lose this game against Chicago. There's no way we're going to get three goals in 10 minutes. So we just got to play smart here. Stewart, nice pass. Over to Jerome, but you're not there in time. That's going to be icing. Fuck. That's going to hurt my team play. Because Jerome couldn't catch up to that puck. Once again, good timing. Lose the faceoff, though. Vizhnowski. Oh, go Nathan McKinnon. That's all you. That's all Nathan McKinnon. 
And he runs right into uh, fucking Corey Crawford. There you go. Nice play there by Forsberg. Kick it down low, but we lose the puck once again. Right, come on, Garba. Oh, God. I, I don't know why I board pinned him there. I'm trying to get the puck and go for a check. Marco Dano takes a shot wide. Ugh, defensive turnover. Forsberg's having a tough time here in this defensive zone. Garbutt again with a shot. Go for the board pin there. Defensive recovery. There we go. Get that over to Jerome, and we get that into the zone as I go for a shift. All right, so defense not playing too well here. That was a bad shift for Forsberg. Bad shift there. Maybe only two more shifts left in the game, so let's just try to get this game over and done with in our defensive zone face-off here for your Forsberg. We do win that backhand win, though, on the face-off, so keep saying it video after video, but that face-off training does definitely seem to help here. All right, Jerome making some deeks. Uh, tries for Saucer pass it over us to us, but Shaw intercepts. Jalmerson over to Bickle. Block pass again, Boschman. Uh... Bouncing puck, Bickle again, back to Jokinen. And Jerome intercepts, but once again, he can't feed. Couldn't spring anybody for a long pass. Bickle again in front. Nobody blocking that side, though. Again, back to me, over to Nathan McKinnon. And he off, plays that off the boards to himself as Daly gets that out. And right through for your Forsberg stick. And Bickle gets it again. Right, I'll tussle back into the play. Watch the cross. And discipline, bad discipline. And, of course, they get a goal regardless. They get a goal regardless. Who was that, Panarin? I think that was Panarin, number 12. I don't know. Whatever. We lose We lose the puck in the offensive zone. This team sucks defensively, so doesn't surprise me there. 337. Very bad game we're having right now. Very bad commentary, too. <laughs> Whatever. It's late at night, man. Give me a break. All right, let's go. Vizhnovsky, he gets leveled. McKinnon, oh my god, why would you pass that? You just got to take that into the fucking zone yourself. McKinnon in deep on Teravainen, and he just turns away with it. Big shot on that. Deflection, and I go for a line change. Why? Because apparently I hit B. Whatever. That'll probably do it for the game. No, 114. 114 left to go. Again, uh, in front to McKinnon. Blocked away, though. Bickle. Nice little check there from Forsberg. He gets the puck back. Back to the defense. Nice play by Stewart. Cross to McKinnon. In front to Forsberg again. And I get taken off the puck by fucking Brian Bickle. And he sends that over the boards. Ryan Bickle has been a thorn in my side this game. Yeah, I, well, I'm facing Jonathan Taves. I mean, what do you want me to do here, game? Thank you, Gonchar. All right, Forsberg. It's time to rip out the dang sun. And, of course, Gonchar just continues to skate back, and we lose the puck. All right, Jonathan Taves. We, once again, put up a good four check there. Forsberg still has it. Skates around. Three Chicago Blackhawks. Jerome, you're wide open. Oh, I'm back door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried to hit you, but just barely got tipped. Just barely got tipped. The Blackhawks are going to sit in their zone with the puck, so I'm not going to waste your guys' time with that for the next 23 seconds. And we get shut out by Chicago. No surprise there, as we are a bad team. So, that loss definitely was expected. It was 3 to nothing after the second, so... That loss was expected. Did not play well on our first game back on the second line. Our first shift was good. That was pretty much it. We had a good first shift, but then slowly fell off for the rest of the game. So... That's unfortunate, but, you know, that's how the game happens sometimes. All right, going up against Tampa Bay now, who's a good team as well. So let's get through this game as we do, as time again gets one. And then Nikita Kucherov, and then time again, Tyler Johnson and Steven Stamkos as we get shut out for the second consecutive game in a row. Nice. All right, so now we're going up against the New Jersey Devils for our second game. Of this video so here we go first period against new jersey nothing nothing second period one to one john mitchell and travis zajak all right so it's a one to one tie going into the third all right guys so we are back here in our second game here up against the new jersey devils one to one tie here in the third period 
A little bit strange, we do not have any coach feedback for defense this game, so we don't really have anything to work on defensively. Still the stride deeks and the board pins, I think, or the face-off cyclifs, whatever one of them they need us to work on here. But uh, we shall see how we do here up against the Devils as Nathan McKinnon nicely draws a penalty there, and we'll get some power play tonight. We're on the second line power play, or the second uh, power play uh, setup here in here in Colorado. So once again, we do get the puck. Tange will situate, try to situate ourselves here back door as John Merrill will dump it back down to the blue line as the Avs will get set up again. Let's see what they do here. Up, oh, Tange he loses the puck, but he gets it back again. Back to the point to Zadarov. Over to the point. Shot blocked. Over to Aginla. Let's situate ourselves behind the net here. Jerome, uh, back to Jerome again. Nice passing there from the Colorado Avalanche, but unfortunately Corey Schneider does block that one off, and we'll get off the ice to get the first line power play, get back onto the uh, ice. So there we go. It was a nice little little puck movement we had there on the power play. Do we get another little shift here? Yep, we're still on the power play, so we get another little chance here to maybe make something happen. 43 seconds left. Get Matt Duchesne coming off. All right, Tyson Barry. Gets it back, and all right, guys, there's one four checker there as John Merrill easily gets it, and Barry just dumps that all the way down. That's going to be icing. Don't know what Tyson Barry was thinking there, but we have a defensive zone faceoff here on the power play. Ah, too early. Yep, too early. Jumped a little bit too early on the faceoff. That's all right, though. All right, Severson around the back, or Josephson. Come on, guys, we have an extra guy out there. Shouldn't be dealing with this on the power play. Here we go. All right, Jerome, let's go. All right, Jerome again. Leaks to the outside. Back to Barry. Shot up. Deflection. Severson misses the misses the dump and attempt. Johnson takes a shot, and he scores. Eric Johnson. Maybe a little bit of a help there from a mini screen there from Peter Forsberg coming right in front of Corey Schneider. But uh, the Colorado Avalanche do capitalize. I don't know if that was a power play goal or not. It might have been. Yes, it was. If it was, it was just the, the late dying seconds out here. Look at this. Forsberg turns around, kind of picks maybe a little bit of a screen there on uh, Eric Johnson, for Eric Johnson by uh, Corey Schneider. So we'll have to see if that maybe had an effect on it, though. But we do get a plus, which is nice. Avalanche take a 2-1 to one lead over the Devils on a power play goal there from Eric Johnson. And now we got to deal with the power play. A penalty kill, I should say. And once again, we got to watch our guy here at the point. Hopefully our defense can do a good job there. Henrik, there you go, Varlamov. Once again, bad call for the puck, and it's a goal. Why can't I pick up the puck every time Varlamov dishes it out? I know I shouldn't be calling for it, but uh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. This devil's tied up. Adam Henrik on a power play, and I lose the faceoff because I'm busy talking. All right, Jordan 2-2. I go to the bench because I hit B. Ah, it's frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. I hate pressing B. Hate pressing B when I don't need to. All right, he literally gets us back out there 15 seconds later, so that's nice. All right, Forsberg takes the puck here. Uh, dishes it down. That's all right, though. Tange still has control of it. Forsberg loses the puck to O'Brien. Loses the puck to O'Brien. And nice little hit there. Around the back of the net. There you go. Nice call for the pass. Long pass. Ah, couldn't get it. Couldn't get it to him. Severson, let's finish that check. Just a nice little bump. Right, Johnson. Oh my god, Eric Johnson. You gotta make your puck decisions a little bit quicker than that, man. How was that bad call for the puck? That's not my fault. He can't dish it quickly enough to the side, man. I don't know. Landy. Landy. In front. Forsberg couldn't handle the bouncing puck. All right, I just got to skate to the bench. Jersey has it. Devils have it. I just got to skate to the bench. Ugh, man. We were in good. Sh we were in a good position after that power play, but, uh, well, we have another chance to do so. We have a power play here. Come on, let's get back up to a lead here. Let's have a say in this goal. Let's get, like, an assist or something. Jump too early again. And O'Brien, once again, he's going to take this puck into the zone. Why are you guys backing up on him? It's only one guy, and he dishes it around. And Josephson tries to dump it back for him. Taking away again. Ah, uh, Jerome. 
Jerome, oh my god, Abs, you guys got to get rid of that puck quicker. You guys need to get rid of that puck quicker. Thank you. All right, let's situate ourselves here. I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. Jerome, back around. Again, in front. Oh, I'm sorry there, Tange. I'm sorry there. You did have a shot, like, wind up, wound up for that. Oh, I missed that pass, too. Fuck. All right, Barley's just going to leave it there. Oh, for the Christ's sakes. Tyson. Oh, my God. Tyson Barry. How do you lose that puck right there? And Larson. And yeah, Sasha pass out off the boards to Aginla. Over to Tange. In front to Forsberg. He shields it away. Over back to Eric Johnson. Takes a shot. And that is a block shot. Tange back to... Okay. That pff, weird bouncing puck there. From Aginla over to Palmieri. Larson board pin. Over to Tange, he misses the pass to Forsberg. Johnson, though, keeps it in. As for they still want me out there. Power play is over. And we lose the puck. On an offensive zone turnover. And I am tired as a mofo. And O'Brien literally shields that away from Forsberg. Thank you. At least I'll get that pass now. Back pass to Barry. And Tyson Barry loses it again. God damn, Abs. You are terrible on defense. You guys are really that bad on defense. Over to Camilleri, back to Jelena. Nice block shot there. Camilleri, back to Henrique. Nice tip there from Tange. Camilleri again, over to Henrique, tries to squeeze it through. Varley will just hold that. And we'll get a change. Don't even get to see my stats, we'll check it out afterwards. Check it out in the next shift. 6.31 left to go in this game. Looking to McKinnon. Still got another game to play after this, too. This is a long game. McKinnon. Oh, and once again, McKinnon and Ginla. I don't know. I kind of like playing back with my third line pals again. McKinnon and Ginla just seem to be making way too many mistakes. John Moore with a shot. Just wide the net. Barry sends it around. Ginla. Nice play. Back to Zadarov. And once again, stick lifted. But, and we get poke checked. Oh, poke checker right to McKinnon, though. And nice play. Saucer it. Oh, just off of Corey Schneider's pads. And Mateau can eat that big hit. Send that for a shot. Oh, deflected by Jerome. And we can skate to the bench. Go for a change. I gotta put start putting shots on that, man. Maybe I should, maybe I should try to start a fight with these guys, too. Because maybe since I'm considered a power forward, I should be fighting more. I don't know. We'll see if any fights actually actually end up end up popping up here, Mateau. He's gonna dump that in. And it's still two to two game. Let's pass up to McKinnon. McKinnon's just gonna enter the zone here. Back pass again, and I missed my defenseman. Uh, crap! I gotta hustle here. Go, Peter. Go, 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 go. Go for a board pin. And I can't. Josephson on two two. Nice block pass there. On Jordan two two, but he gets that right to Mateau, but Holden's right there for the rebound. Long pass up to Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon back to Nick Holden. And he sends that in, though. On green. Dumps that around the back. Again, on the back. Up. Okay, Jerome. Feed me. Thank you. Back to the point. Back to the other point. And shot. Ooh. Schneider might have got a piece of that. Again, let's feed him again. Holden. And shot by, sh by uh, Forsberg on... Schneider, but just an okay shot. Just had to get a backhander on that. Had to get a backhander on that. This one going to overtime. Yes, it is. So we will have some OT time out there once again if they don't score in the first part of overtime. But we will have some overtime here in this game up against the New Jersey Devils. And that was a weird simulation little glitch there. But 341 left to go in overtime here. On the ice with uh, 16, and don't know who my uh, line mates are. That would be Nikita Zadorov. Thank you. Back to Zadorov, who's not there. Alright, let's see. Let's get this puck. And once again, I'm going to try to make a deke, and I get run into. So my deking is so bad. Deacon needs to be upgraded. Gianta tries to dish that out. Forsberg does manage to get the puck, though. And we're going to have to go here. All right. Uh, let's see. We got to we gotta work our defense here. There you go. 
Zara's wide open. And John Merrill. Just too good enough there to stick lift me and poke check that puck away. Alright, that gets dumped deep, but Gianta somehow manages to come away with it. Zarov back up. Alright. Once again, gotta deal with these two. Let's see if I can cross them up. Oh, nice little deke there. Nice little deke by Forsberg. Back hit forehand. He wins it, baby! Peter Forsberg with a nice little move there to get around the one defenseman. Finds his way to go around backhand forehand on Corey Schneider and the Colorado Avalanche win it in overtime by a spectacular goal there from Peter Forsberg in overtime. Wow, what a goal. Look at that nice little toe drag around Eric Jelena and the one New Jersey defenseman, uh, John Merrill, loses his, loses his position there on Forsberg. He gets around backhand forehand on Corey Schneider and Forsberg does indeed tuck it to win the game. And look at this, the Colorado Avalanche celebration there with the stinking dog. And we do win this game by a final score of 3-2-2 over the New Jersey Devils. We gotta take one more uh, final look at this uh, at this goal here by Peter Forsberg to win the game. Wow, what a goal. Look at the, uh, they didn't show the toe drag, but that toe drag was awesome. Get around Eric Jelena, John Merrill, and Steven Gianta. Match to get through all three of them. And we win the game in overtime. Wow, what a goal. What a goal there. Nice goal to win it. Very, very, very nice goal to win it. So we still got one more game left to go in, in this video, but that is one hell of a way to end the game against the New Jersey Devils. Wow, that deke was nice. That deke was indeed nice. All right, so here we go. Up against the Columbus Blue Jackets here. Let's see how this game goes. Uh, it's not going well. Nope, not a, well at all. I think Nathan McKinnon and Matthew Shane were the only guys to score that game. So once again, back in the losing column. But one more game here up against the Winnipeg Jets to end off this video. Six hours. So once again, face-off training for two. Defensive. Actually, you know what? We need to do the uh, stick handling and then the sprints to help keep our endurance up. So that's that. This will be our last game before an evaluation period, too. So let's sim this game here up against the Winnipeg Jets. First period, 1-1, one one, John Mitchell and Stafford. Second period. All right, so it's a 1-1 one one tie going into the third up against the Winnipeg Jets. All right, guys, so here we are in our third and final game of this video up against the Winnipeg Jets. It's a 1-1 one one tie in the third here in the MTS Center. It is, uh, once again, stride deeks and board pins and face-off stick lifts. The defensive... Uh, the defensive coach feedback doesn't appear to be popping up here and I knew I was getting that pass Forsberg might be around I gotta take a short side shot because I'm not gonna get around uh, number 30 whoever that was back there that was probably Tyler Myers and somebody else there was no way I was gonna get around them so I had to take a shot there All right, and Forsberg we do tie up in the face off there do win the face off it still counts Alice Chuck he's gonna dump that around the boards Stewart uh, Boschman, okay, that was a weird play there, but still we get the pass over to McKinnon, and Barlamov dishes that right back out, though. Boschman over to Aginla, back to Aginla, there we go, nice breakout pass, nice pass over to McKinnon, and they Jets will transition once again. That's offsides, though, Matthew Perot, you can't do that, son. Alright, nice little shift there, a little bit of defense, a little bit of offense. Took a shot on that, we'll take it. Should kind of go for low shots, try to force some rebounds. Controlling the play in their own end. All right, Jerome Ginla, nice play. Uh, got shielded it away from him. Shoots. Around the back of the boards, there you go. Uh, okay, Nick Holden's right there for it. Holden's kind of pinching in into the zone. He still has it. Over to Zadarov, back to Forsberg. Shot, oh, big save there from Pavlik with the glove. Uh, jumps right over my stick and then way up into the air. Ginla still has it, though. Again, love back to Forsberg. A little bit of trouble there. Back to Holden. And he tries to take a shot, but it gets blocked. We still get a nice setup pass. Drew Stafford. And he's going to turn back with it for Enstrom. Back to Stafford. Drew Stafford, you cut your dead man. Oh, Jesus. Big hit there on Tobias Enstrom. Tangay. Uh, Forsberg. Oh, he couldn't handle the pass, so he's just going to go for a change. Might have had a breakaway opportunity there if Alex Tangay could have got that pass through, but it got tipped by Tyler Myers. So, we'll just hold it there and go for a change. All right, transition game here. Mark Shafley and Drew Stafford back to Scotty Upshaw. It's an interesting little player they have there on Winnipeg. There you go, Tyson Barry. Nice job. 
Doing a lot better job than we were last game. Okay, that's a backwards pass. But Eric Johnson still has it. Eric Johnson cuts to the middle. I'm going to play his defensive spot right here. Jacob Truba. Back to Shifley. Big hit check there on Mark Shifley. And let's see. Forsberg's just going to turn with it. And shield it away again. Around the zone. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice little deke there from Peter Forsberg to get around the defender. Nice little move there. Nice little move. While standing still, that move is definitely clutch to get yourself to keep moving. You still gain control of the puck as well. All right, back out there again. Again, low in offensive zone. Turnover to Tyler Myers, and he cuts back in. Looming the hit there from Forsberg. Stewart intercepts, and here comes Peter Forsberg. All right, Forsberg. And Deeks loses it to Tyler Myers. Careless deking. yep. I had two guys there. Two guys there. Tyler Myers, Jets are a good defensive team. Jets are a very good defensive team. That was my guy. I'm sorry, Varley. I should have covered for you. Off the boards right there to uh, Jerome McGinley. Nice pass. Jerome's going to send this around the boards, hopefully, for Nathan McKinnon, Toby Enstrom. And the puck goes out of the zone because I put checked it. Solid. Solid. Hate that glitch, man. 7 2. Left to go here in the third. Okay game we're having that right now. Just an okay game. There you go. Nice pit. Nice poke check. Oh, Zadarov. Don't turn it over like that. Nice save, Varley. You know, just clear Mark Schleifley out, out of the way. Anybody want to fight? Nobody wants to fight. I would not mind dropping the mitts with, like, Dustin Bufflin or somebody. There you go. Nice pass right into the middle there. And they get it breaking out, broken out to... Nathan McKinnon, Boschman, back to Forsberg, shot, and oh, just well over than that. A little bit high. Boschman, I got to cover for him. All right, you cover for him. I'll take this guy. Shifley over to Myers. Enstrom down low to Upshaw. Back to Myers again. Slave by Varlamov. And once again, they go for a change here. I'll go for a change as Varlamov, I guess, held the puck. One simulating there, 326. The ads were telling and a little bit of a neutral zone face off here, 326 left to go. Still one to one game, good timing yet again, but we lose the toss up. Nice play to intercept that puck. Stump this in. Uh, it might go over the boards. Yes, it is going to go over the boards. My bad. Tried to knock that down a little bit over the boards. Hopefully, again, I would have got that, but unfortunately not. 123 left to go. Here in the third, 1-2-3. Uh, Nathan McKinnon stole, but he went off sides. And we're back off the ice again. Logic. And 111. All right, he's getting me right back out there. Right back out there. Defensive zone faceoff now. There you go, good timing there. Nice toss-up. Nice little toss-up win there from Forsberg, but... Bushman, again, nice play. All right, one-on-one. Deke, nice shot. We're right on Dustin Bufflin here. Just a oh, low shot there, hopefully a rebound. Take another shot. Uh, that got blocked. Still got a shot off, though. Whoa, all right, referee. Referee, Dustin Bufflin kind of playing some dirty shit right there. Bushman over to Forsberg. Get around them. There you go. Get around. Get around. Get around. Go, 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 go. Back to Aginla. Nice pass. Aginla. Looking for Forsberg again. Uh, I went off his stick. Went off his skate. Nothing I could do about that. Alice Chuck, let's go. Let's get back and play some D. Pro and intercepted. McKinnon, get there. Oh, McKinnon's got the speed. McKinnon's got the speed. I'm going hard to the net. Nathan McKinnon. Oh, yeah. He elects to take the shot. I was going to be wide open back door. But you know what? Nathan McKinnon is 88 overall. I would rather him take a shot, I guess. But I might have been open back door for a little bit of a cross crease pass. But once again, we're going to overtime. So let's see if Forsberg can show off his overtime heroics yet again in back to back games. Back to back overtime games, I should say. 258 left here. So we are going to get a shift. It's face off. All right. So I think we have. Uh, Boschman and Zaderov back there on us. I don't know. But we got to go against Klitsam and Harrison, which is not uh, too troublesome, if I would say so. 
All right, just cover him back out there. Clits him. Oh, he gets that pass over to Harrison. Shifley. Oh, I think that's Shifley. Yep, Shifley's out there on the ice. All right, here we go. Forsberg right at him. Let's go right at him. Here we go. Here we go. Toe drag. A little bit of another deep there. Back to Boschman. Takes a shot blocked by Shifley. Takes a shot again. Boschman still handles it. Nice. And Forsberg around. And, ugh, tries to hold it all the way out on the far side. Tries to get around Pavlik, but fortunately not the case. And I think this game is going to go to a shootout. Yep, going to a shootout. Going to a shootout yet again. I don't think we are on the shootout squad once again, but uh, fortunately, hopefully this should be over quick. All right, Matt Duchesne, first shot here. Backhander. Oh, wow. Great save there from Andre Pavlik. I don't know how Duchesne didn't, didn't get that in. That was a nice little save there from Pavlik, spread eagle. All right, Blake Wheeler taking the first shot for Winnipeg. Can't get that by Simeon Varlamo. Next up is Landis Gog. Landy tucks it in on Pavlik. There you go, backhand forehand. Just came in from the opposite side, backhand forehand, that nice little cut. Oh, actually, he got it around him. Did that little nice little stick tuck animation. Stick tuck animation. Brian Little. Can't get that through. So, if Nate the Great can score here, Colorado wins in overtime. And he goes out way too far as Pavlik makes the save. So, Varlamov can stop Mark Scheifele here. We win the game. And, yes, he can. Simon Varlamov stones Mark Scheifele and the Colorado Avalanche. Walk away with a 2-1 to win here in the shootout against the Winnipeg Jets. So, there we go. End off the video with a, another win, which is good. And I think we ended off the video going 2-1, and one, which is very nice. Very nice. All right. So, 16, 24, and 7. Like I said, every video we're kind of crawling closer to 500. But we're kind of getting boned in these simulation games, too. All right. So, 3-1. to one, There you go. Holden, Duchesne, and McLeod. Gergensons. Ah, they tied up Ryan O'Reilly in the third. With 32 seconds left, they tied up with their goalie pulled. Overtime and Pissa comes back, so we like we just we just blew a three to one lead there. That's uh, that's pretty pathetic. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be going up against the St. Louis Blues, uh, next video to start it off. But let's just take a look at our stats so far here in Colorado. Take a look at the stats through 48 games so far. On the forward lines, we got Lan uh, Duchesne with 31 points. Landy has 29. McKinnon with 24. Uh, Aginla with 22. Coma with 20. Tange with 19. Peter Forsberg does have 15, 15 points. 11 goals from Peter Forsberg so far. So that's not bad. 11 goals and 4 assists for 15 points. He's a minus 7, which is not good. 26 penalty minutes. Um, But yeah, that, uh, that, that point total is pretty good. Let's look at our, all of our stats. There's our individual stats. Puck skills are obviously mediocre. Shooting is mediocre. Skating is meh. Physical category is good. Defensively, meh. And then discipline's meh. But 15 points so far, 11 goals, which is nice. And then there's everybody else. Grigorenko hasn't played in a while. Or, yeah, but Grigorenko, I think, is out with an injury. And then Jordan Caron right there as well. Defenseman. Tyson Barry is 21 points. Boshaman, Zadarov. Stuart Holden, Eric Johnson, Zach Redman, and Nate Gennon. And then Tendies. We have our Lama of his 9 and 19. Rito Barra, 2 and 4. Barra's goals against average is good. P Picard did have that one start, I think, as well. So Alright, so the Avs are not, you know, they're they're struggling, but Forsberg does have eleven goals in the year, which is pretty phenomenal to say the least. So if we check out the calendar, like I said, I think the All-Star break is yep yeah, about two weeks away. And then it's still a while until the trade deadline. So we're still rolling along here. We are, are we halfway through the season right now? That is 48. So 48, 48. Yeah, we are more than halfway done the season so far. So we're moving along here. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, continue to just play well, get our overall up, and we'll be ready for next year, no doubt. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. I'll see you guys next time.